let's take a look. Look at this iPad. I think this is sixth generation. I received this from Laura Malvoyante from France. I promised to her I'd put on a new battery and also iFlash Solo with a new SD card. So let's let's try to open this. Guys, this is my first video, so if the audio <laughs> is kind of bad, that's because I'm using the camera's built-in microphones. Maybe for the next video I will get a new one. Or better microphone. Okay, let's see. What we're going to use here is, uh, well, I've got some uh, spotters, and this is actually the official iFlash tool. I've once you, uh, done this before uh, for my 5th gen iPod, I think. So the way this works is we have these uh, clasps here and what we are trying to do here is uh, get this tool under these and try to push them down so they will release. At least <laughs> that's how it should work. Uh, yeah, let's try to open this one. starting to release. Yeah, now we got the tool uh, pushed uh, all the way to the bottom. So I think this is releasing, yes. So <coughs> this, is, this is the same kind of tool and I'll just move here along the line. Yes, this one opened. Let's see. Yeah, now it's beginning. beginning to open. Okay. So I think I think we are good. <laughs> okay, this corner is still holding, so Let's see if we can do something for it. that. Maybe I'll just try to go in from here. Uh, we got over the charging port and yeah, now this whole iPod should open, <laughs> I think, yes, alright, we are getting in, really gently, uh, because there's also uh, the uh, battery is glued <laughs> to the back cover, so we don't want to do any harm. Okay, so as you can see, uh, there are uh, the slim cables uh, that are going to the uh, audio port and to the battery. So let's just <coughs> Open this. Move this back case to the side. And I think we can just, for the battery connector, we can just, just pull it out. Let's see. Yes. That went nicely. And now we can move the back case to the side. Now I can just remove this, remove this hard drive. Mm, let's see. But this black one is some sort of hinge. You can, you can, like so. You can lift it up and 
that releases the orange ribbon cable and now you can just pull it out it should should come out yeah like so <coughs> it was quite tight but yeah now we got it out next thing we're going to do is replace the hard drive with this iFlash solo and put the SD card in it this is uh, 128 gigabyte card uh, let's put it in here uh, I haven't done anything to the card yet I haven't connected it to the PC or uh, formatted it or anything so yeah now we try to put the iFlash solo in so we have the locking mechanism open and let's just try to slide this ribbon cable in all right i think it's it's good enough well not good enough I think it's all the way in, or as far as it can go. Yep, I don't want to damage the cable. No, let's uh, let's lock it back in. By pressing the this lock. Yep, like so. Now we can open the. Open the uh, battery connector lock. Yep, now it's open. Uh, and yeah, let's let's change the battery. Let's put this battery in here and try to gently lift the battery up without damaging any of the nearby cables. <laughs> it's tightly in there oh, yes getting there getting there all right excellent <coughs> now we got the battery old battery removed uh, from the ribbon cable underneath it and so this is the old battery and this is the new one. I actually have the same same battery on my fifth gen iPod and it has been working just fine. Peel the adhesive, the protective membrane from the adhesive and just glue the battery to the original position come on come on go get in there <laughs> yes all right looking good and just put some slight pressure in there feels good all right all right now we have the cable in the right position. The next thing we're going to do is... I think we can get away with one of these foam pads. These are holding the... Oh man... The adhesive stuck to the paper. Okay. Uh, this is just to hold the eye flash in place and this foam is pressed against the back plate so I'll actually yeah I'll put this one here to also hold the SD card in 
And now what I'm going to do is, okay, let's put the eye flash to the right place. Now let's put the battery ribbon cable in here. Just press the lock down like so. Yes, looking good. Now we have all the place, all the parts inside. Let's try to connect it to my MacBook. And let's see what it says. We got the Apple logo. Great. The iTunes is saying it has detected an iPod. I'll click OK. It says it's loading. Alright, now the iPod is saying it's OK to disconnect. Let's try connecting it again. Now saying it's restoring the software on this iPod. All right, it said it was restoring it, but didn't progress anywhere. So now I just remove the cable and put it back on. All right, here we go. Exactly, yeah. This is what I wanted to see. Now we are connected, <laughs> and everything seems to be working. I can see the iPod here uh, on my MacBook. Let's see if I go to my iTunes, if I can see the iPod in here. Not yet, not yet. It was actually trying to synchronize the iPod and for some reason it got stuck. And now I, I had to force the Finder to close and now I restarted the MacBook and now everything is back on track. Let's try doing that. All right, get started. Yes, we are on current version, that's great. All right, now we can just try syncing it. Is it syncing all my music? Oh no, I'll have to do some. Let's just put some, you know, <laughs> I don't know, AFL 65, I think Laura will love that. All right, let's take a look. If we indeed have some songs in here, oh, like so. Music looking good. Yeah. Let's just make sure that everything's still working before we close the iPod. Yep. Working great. All right. I think we can just turn this off. And put it back together. That's it. Get in there, yes. Perfect. <laughs> Hope everything's still working. That was it for the first video. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you like to see these kinds of videos in the future. 
Thank you for Laura for collaborating with me and sending me the iPod for repair. The iPod is going back to France. Hope she's happy. <laughs> and yeah, that's it. See you next time. Thanks. Bye.